So uh, <laughs> that was the transition. <laughs> <laughs> and also uh, to say that uh, as a transition, I'm not a geek nor a, a developer. And, and when Thomas asked me to talk about uh, a blockchain, I said, OK, but, but let me add something on blockchain, which is for good. Otherwise, I, I cannot explain. I won't explain you how blockchain works. And that's a bit my message tonight is to not to explain how blockchain works, but, but what we can do uh, for blockchain. So, so that's a bit uh, the topic. And um, so it doesn't work. So, so where, where to start with the blockchain? Um, I've been working uh, 15 years in, in impact investing. So my, 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 my former company, the objective was to, to, to do investing, so to find projects but to give a meaning on the project. And the meaning was about bringing back some impact on the investment. So intentionally uh, define a, 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 an objective, a social or environmental objective, and sell it to the investor. The same way you, you, you sell a return, you also sell the fact that you're going to solve something, something good. Unfortunately, I mean, the, the, the company has done great. Uh, but unfortunately, we had to use the traditional way, which is about using the traditional financial system to, 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 to assess and to, to bring one Swiss franc or one dollar from Geneva to, to, to Bolivia. It takes, it takes some time. You have a lot of intermediaries. And that's where I, I start thinking how technology can impact uh, what we were doing. And, and, and I, I start to learn about crowdfunding and the fact to disintermediate uh, your investment and to target directly the, the people. And I start thinking about blockchain. And I start to try to understand actually how blockchain works. And I got a bit lost uh, because it's pretty complicated. And, and, and I leave that to, to, the, to, to the developers uh, to, to, to explain how it works. But I really try to... To, to, to understand what was the intuition behind, behind the blockchain. And that's where actually I solved my problem, is where when I understood, uh, I understood where it came from. And I realized that actually it started pretty, pretty early. And, 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 and I would like to, to, to know who knows who's that person. Is, is not a former... Uh, can we say, um, Guerreros, uh, but, but it's someone that actually is pretty important in, in, the, in blockchain. It is not Japanese, uh, as you can see, uh, but his name is, is, is actually, he, he said something. A specter is haunting the modern world and, and, and the specter of crypto anarchy. And, and, and that does not dates back 1848, that dates back in 88, in 1988. And that person is, is uh, Timothy May. He died, he passed away, I think, last December. You know that person? Don't know. And, and actually, that's where I understood the intuition behind blockchain, is where when I read this, this paper. And this paper is the Crypto Anarchist Manifesto. And, and that guy is a leader of, of the crypto punk funk people that, that started to think how the world could look like when you start de developing systems or protocols with the idea to disintermediate uh, what you're doing and create trust among different actors. I'll explain a little bit later what that, that means, but look what he was writing. Computer technology is on the verge of providing the ability for individuals and groups to communicate and interact in totally anonymous manner. So that was one of the objectives. Other things, he said, they said that will completely alter the nature of government regulation, the ability to tax and control economic interaction. It's pretty strong. Um, he also, they also said that might become a social and economic revolution. And that was in 88. And, and, and now, when you think about these words, and, and then we, we, we also try to explain um, 
how blockchain, what blockchain can, can provide is, is true that behind the hype or beyond the hype of, of blockchain, there's something, there's a phys philosophical approach on how to change how people behave, store data, and, and, and exchange values. So, so th there was a program behind that, and that came from people in the crypto world uh, and, and, and that tried to combine technology with, with, their, with their views and, and, and values. Um, to add also that I could have started explaining who's Satoshi Nakamoto, uh, but everybody knows that we don't know who he is. Uh, and 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 but 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 I wanted to start a bit earlier and 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 think about uh, how how typically you, you look at the young people the way they interact the way they share data it's all open source uh, and 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 that that's really uh, in a way I think blockchain is is a crystallization of of a new way a new behavior of 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 the new generation. Um, but the three, the only three things to remember, and that's the only three things actually I remember when I have to think about blockchain, are these three things. The rest is is for the geeks, for the developers, uh, and and but 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 the three things are the first one is a distributed ledger, the capacity to register um, in in a in a ledger things that are then replicated in a network. And, and, and that way, what you register in the ledger, and that is then validated by, by a consensus, um, is, is, is written once forever. It's like going in the wall of, of Geneva and start writing something and, and, and writing in, in every wall of Geneva. You can't change it. It's once forever. And that ledger can be shared among different people. So that, that's the first thing that you have to remember of, about blockchain is, is the, the fact that actually you create a ledger and you replicate it in a way that nobody can change it. The other thing that is very interesting is the, the fact that working with ledger, you can start transact uh, and you can start digitized assets. And the capacity to transform any digital content into an asset in a digital securities, it can be a currency, uh, it can be a security. We talk a lot right now, especially in Switzerland, in digitizing securities like, like fund shares, uh, uh, but we can also digitize paintings. And the first use case, the, the, the most well known, that actually has, has never been corrupted, that, and it's probably the one that has the protocol or the system that is the most advanced, is the Bitcoin. So the capacity to create a ledger has provided the capacity also to transact, and the capacity to transact on a peer-to-peer -peer basis. The, th the third thing that is very interesting in blockchain that has been created or developed by, by, by the Ethereum protocol, it's the capacity to create a smart contract. So it's neither smart nor a contract. Uh, but that's the way we, we name it. But actually, it's a self-executing program allowing process automata automation. It's a program that says that according to certain conditions, I will do something. I will execute something. So it's not smart. It's, it's, not, it's not a contract. I'll try to explain a little bit more what, what it means. But these three things are the, are the only things to remember. Um, when I, 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 I entered into that sector, coming from a traditional financial uh, field, and, and, and I, I faced a lot of people uh, telling me that blockchain is the answer, but uh, I've never understood what was the question. And, 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 and the question is, what does it serve? What, what are you trying to solve? And I like the different things that have been said about what is the experience for, 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 human, for, for the humanity, what, what the technology can do to solve some problems. And that's how at Weekend, uh, it's a Swiss-based company, it's a startup dedicated to crowdfunding and blockchain, that's the new company. Um, we, we don't try to explain blockchain, we try to listen to people and understand what they're trying to solve. And the only thing that blockchain is trying to solve, and remember team uh, manifesto, is trust how to create trust via technology. Trust on a protocol that allows you not to use, for example, the state 
to, 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 to provide the trust or the central bank to create uh, currencies. Um, the key features of blockchain, and, and I, I also thank Paul because last week we were talking about how blockchain can, can impact sustainable development goals. And, and, and actually, you, you don't have to look at the, 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 these crazy words that, that the, the blockchain is, is, is using, but just uh, the, the, the key features like immutability, the fact that once it's written, it's written for forever. Transparency, the capacity to, 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 to see things on a real-time basis, anytime you can see what has been written. Traceability, the capacity to trace what has been done on, on the ledger. Disintermediation, decentralization, trustless exchange, security. All, all, all these, these words actually are suited to talk about sustainable goals. Um, because all of these different things can, can apply to, 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 to sustainability. And that brings me to blockchain for good. You're probably aware of, about the fact that some goals have been, have been defined by the international community. We're trying to solve poverty, hunger, health, etc. And, and the question is how blockchain can help. And, and you have a lot of different uh, um, application of blockchain that are now being tested by the community of NGOs, United Nations, but also by the private sector. And one of them is digital identity, how to create an identity for a refugee that has lost his passport, that comes in Europe and would like to open a bank account. How to include financially people, how can you transact uh, typically money, remittances is one of the, the largest income for, for many countries in, in the South. How can you bring this money directly without losing uh, a lot of, of money in the transfer? How can you make it on a real-time basis? Financial inclusion, the blockchain can help typically via cryptocurrency to exchange on, on extremely low cost uh, uh, currencies. Land registries, when you start registering the, the owner of the land on a, on, a, on a distributed ledger, you make it uncorruptible. You can't change it. We are currently working at, at Weekend on, on, um, on the building rights platform uh, in Geneva for the Fondation des Terres Industrielles to allow people to exchange on a direct and peer-to-peer -peer basis without, um, without having a, a centralized agent validating the, the transaction. If, if you can think about the fact that you can register properties in, in, a, in a distributed ledger and allow people to exchange directly, you, you, you really um, uh, solve the corruption uh, issues. Supply chain, the fact to trace where the gold or diamond comes from exactly, from what mine uh, that can be written in, in the blockchain um, and, and not change. Human rights, donation tracking and impact measurement, that comes back to my, to my origin. Uh, we are working right now with a Swiss NGO uh, to, to see how we can trace donation from the donator to the end beneficiary. And, and also bring back not only the fact that the money has been given, but also the, 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 what the, the outcome of the, um, of, 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 the, of the service that has been granted to the person. It's also very interesting in energy, energy management and, and the off-grid systems. You have some, some examples in Brooklyn where uh, um, some buildings have been have been e equipped by, with solar panels and people create energy and can resell the, the energy directly to their neighbors without losing actually uh, the energy uh, in the system. So the, the, the last thing I would like to, to say, um, it's, it's about Geneva. We heard uh, uh, Mr. Modet talking about the ecosystem. I'm also here to represent, in a sense, the system because I chair uh, an association promoting sustainable finance in Geneva. It's Sustainable Finance Geneva. And, and we have been working a few years ago in, in trying to show what people, some people know, but some people tend to forget, is that the ecosystem in Geneva is amazing, is unique. And that system combines very well development issues, but also the money. On, on the, there is a lot of money on the, right, on the left side of the lake 
but and the idea is to 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 combine it with 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 development uh, challenges and and issues and 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 this the, the i think there is a third pillar that has to be added to this is technology how technology can accelerate the the combination of of money impact or development uh, and and then uh, it can really accelerate uh, the, the the way we can in, we can innovate and and that's what we are trying to do at the, the canton level also the ville level we are working with the united nations to really promote blockchain for sustainable development and there has been different meetings and and there's a lot to come in 2019 to leverage uh, the expertise and i believe that that we, we also need to add not only blockchain because blockchain is, is a small part of technology but arti artificial intelligence uh, big data if you can combine all these things into the sustainable development goals you can do uh, uh, many things uh, uh, quickly Thank you, Thomas. Thank you, Fabio. Thank you very much. Uh, it's great. Now we are inviting uh, uh, Nelly Moffat, who is coming from Lyon, and before that uh, from Mexico. Uh, maybe as you set up, I have to invent quickly a question for you, Fabio. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, so Nelly, if you want to get set up and. Uh, uh, so maybe on the on the this question of of trust i mean i want to to maybe jump on the the, the talk by paul uh, paul was really de delivering this dystopian future say hey actually we cannot trust anything can you can you can be stalked and you can you can get your identity uh, stolen and so on and you are delivering this very positive um, uh, vision that actually blockchain is solving everything um, uh, because it's going to bring transparency and so on and so forth. Well, we still don't know the name of, uh, of, this, uh, of this founder of Bitcoin. Um, who is this real person? So is it really so efficient in terms of uh, attribution and transparency when we don't even know the name of the, the inventor of Bitcoin? I think I think the, 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 the manifesto uh, talked about an anonymous anonymity and and i think that's probably the 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 wish of uh, this this presumably uh, japanese person not to be the, not to be known huh? and i think potentially but that's my opinion is that he has written a protocol and and it, everything is written on the pro on protocol and if you want to understand how it works you need to trust the protocol and what has been written and, and and i agree it's a bit scary to imagine that one day we'll have to, to trust a protocol that we don't understand. Um, but the, the fact is that the Bitcoin, the way it has been written, has never been corrupted. And, and despite the fact that you, you, you can question what you can do with the Bitcoin, will really it be a, a cryptocurrency? Uh, is it really, what, what kind of value it has? The fact is that it has been exchanged by, by millions of people that, that, that truly trusted it and and we are talking about billion of dollars so, so uh, probably that's the the only in interesting thing in the bitcoin is the fact that millions of people have decided to to put money and some have, have lost it a lot uh, since since 2018 but the reality is that yes you can do it i don't want to convey the fact that blockchain is a solution to everything not at all in reality actually nine times out of ten you you won't use blockchain in your problem but when you can start using, you add the brick and, uh, to, to the global solution. And as I said, I think different ca technology can, 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 can paint the, uh, a nice picture. Okay, great. Thank you very much.